Hi, welcome to the fourth video in our series exploring Mirroring 360 by Splashtop. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the configuration options that are available before a connection as well as during a connection. We'll start by taking a look at the tabs available in our Mirroring 360 agent, the General, Advanced, Network and About tabs. The General tab allows you to see a quick status of the Mirroring 360 agent as well as allows you to change the computer name that uh, will be used for people to connect and mirror their screens to your Mac or PC. Now this is useful because many organizations may well actually name their computers something that uh, isn't entirely obvious to the people that would like to mirror their screens to your computer. So go ahead and here and change that. Make it something that's obvious for people. Uh, obviously, maybe your name and the computer name, or if you're in a room, then maybe the room number. Whatever makes it easy for people to uh, connect to your computer is, is best. As you can see from the green check marks, we're all ready to go. And so the other option that we can change here is the Get New Mirroring ID code. And this may be useful if you're moving around rooms and you'd just like the students or the participants in that room to just see your code and connect by typing it into the Mirroring Assist apps on various devices. And this just makes sure that only those uh, participants seeing that code can actually connect at that time. If you do change that code, then of course, people who have actually saved your computer um, to their favorite menu may not be able to mirror their computer if that, uh, if that code has changed. So just be aware that if you are moving around and you're uh, with people that have previously connected and are trying to connect using that same code, that they would need to be aware that uh, they'll need to update the mirroring ID uh, to connect to your computer. So that's the general tab. Let's take a look at the advanced tab. And you'll see from here, there's a, a number of features that are um, checked by default. Uh, obviously, we'd like you to enjoy Mirroring 360 as soon as your computer starts, uh, that you would be able to mirror up to four devices at the same time, and that you want to uh, use bon both Bonjour for iOS devices, and uh, just use the AirPlay menu to connect, as well as um, allowing for Chrome Auto Discovery, so that when you're on a... Mac PC or a Chromebook that you can just auto discover the devices and if you uncheck this then you will have to use the mirroring assist QR code and mirroring ID in order to make those connections. There is also an option to allow a screensaver during mirroring if you so desire but probably the biggest thing to remember here is to enter a password. This will ensure that no one is inadvertently connecting to your um, mirroring 360 agent when you're not expecting it. So you may be moving around rooms and uh, you may want to password protect with a different password in every room so that people cannot connect to your uh, computer from elsewhere when you're least expecting it. And finally, mirroring resolution. This is uh, useful when you want to ensure that you, uh, devices connect at a particular resolution. Uh, this has no effect during the connection, so this is something that you would set up ahead of time, and there's a number of choices here based on popular mobile devices that uh, we've seen connect. That's the Advanced tab. Let's take a quick look at the Network tab. At the top of that, you'll see that uh, you have your IP address and your method of connection, Wi-Fi or LAN. Right underneath is uh, a number of options for setting proxies. I would recommend that you don't actually change any of those options there. It's defaulted to no proxy. But if you are aware that you use them or you have some issues using Mirroring 360, then you can contact your network or IT folk and they'll be happy to advise you as to what to enter into this section. So that's the Network tab. Let's take a quick look at the About tab. And it's here that we'll display the license key, the, the license type, as well as the uh, expiration date of the license. If you're on a trial and you do choose to purchase uh, Mirroring 360 before the trial ends, then you can go ahead and click the Activate Now button and you would enter the uh, license key of your uh, purchased Mirroring 360 product directly here. The Mirroring 360 agent will periodically check with our servers to see if there's an update, but of course you can go ahead and just choose that option here just to see if there's an available update at that time. So now we cover the Mirroring 360 tabs, let's take a look at some of the options available to you during a connection. 
These include showing the device frame, disconnecting devices, tiling all the connections, or going full screen on a connection. So uh, let's take a look at some of those as well as other features available. So we find ourselves back at our PC with those four devices still connected. And let me go ahead and just show you, if you right click in a particular area of that screen, you'll see this connection menu pop up. And the first option that's available is you can, of course, close all the connections. This is just useful if you just want to now just stop everyone mirroring. You could go full screen into an option, show the menu bar. What I'll do is I'll show you exactly what that looks like if I wanted to go full screen on my iPad. And so now my iPad is full screen rather than tiled. Uh, whilst I'm in the iPad screen, I can go ahead now and choose another device. Let's go ahead and choose the Chromebook that is being mirrored to, uh, to my PC. And so now the person that's using the Chromebook can obviously uh, show everyone their expertise on the mirroring360.com website. I can go ahead now and maybe move to the Android Nexus device that's being um, mirrored to my, uh, my, on my computer. And at any point, of course, I can go back to uh, a fully tiled environment so I can see all the mirrored devices uh, simultaneously on the same screen. Uh, before we move on to large deployment features, a quick note on audio. We do actually support mirroring sound from an iOS device by default. For Android, as of the date of this video, you need to root your device in order to uh, push the audio. And then for Chromebooks, Macs, and PCs, uh, if you remember, you're using Mirroring 360 in the Chrome um, environment. And uh, we can only push audio if you're inside of a tab and there's something playing inside of that tab. Uh, so we can't actually um, mirror the audio directly from the entire desktop environment. Large deployment features is important if you're um, someone responsible for deploying and supporting Mirroring 360. Uh, there's a range of features that we offer. The, the two that I'll actually just talk briefly about are the single organizational key and the MSI file. And so what this allows you to do is to go ahead and just use a single key for your entire organization, as well as deploy Mirroring 360 using an MSI package. And there's a range of configuration options that are available with the MSI file. So that allows you to go ahead and, and uh, push this out to all your users very, uh, very smoothly and very efficiently. And finally, so you may be wondering, now I have my device mirrored to my Mac or PC, uh, how I might be able to share that screen now with other devices that may be in the room. And for that, what you would be using is Splashtop Classroom. And so what Splashtop Classroom is going to do for you is take that mirrored screen from someone in the room that's being pushed to your Mac or PC and then share that directly with everyone else that's connected to your, to your computer. And of course, the combination of the two is what really makes Splashtop inside of a classroom a very powerful combination. So why not try Mirroring 360 for yourself? Go ahead and visit our website, mirroring360.com, and uh, start your free trial today. If you're a teacher in a classroom and would like to learn more about our products that are available to educators, then we've set up a special website, that education.splashtop.com. So from everyone here at Splashtop, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch these videos and learn more about Mirroring 360. And of course, if you have any questions or feedback, then please don't hesitate to reach out. You can always connect with us on the usual social channels.